Welcome back. And today I'm going to show you my twin mini adults room makeover, which they did in a span of a weekend. It would be wonderful if you can motivate your sons by getting them to watch this video with you. This actually began as a cleanup sesh, but very soon it turned into a mini makeover. Now disclaimer, I did not help them. Backstory, my twins are two minutes apart and they turn 23 soon. In fact, this month. Twin one is studying biomedicine in an Australian university, but he was unable to go back, so he's been living at home. And twin two is a young lawyer who has a passion for home improvement. So while there have been ideas going back and forth to build another room since twin one has come back home, the twins decided the current room that they were using was perfectly satisfactory. It just needed a little bit of um, makeover. So this room is actually quite large and very comfortably fits two queen size beds, one for each twin. The first thing that came down were the curtains. They have never liked those curtains. They went through my curtains and found a set that suited their taste. They decided to do away with the old wooden rod and also the sheer day curtains. As they put it, serves no purpose in their room. So they were going to use only one set on the railing. Now, since these curtains are shorter, the guys brought the railing down to the correct height. A cost-effective way is to paint the section above the curtains in the same color as the curtains. We don't need to do that because we already have high ceilings, but if you don't, that's a great way of adding height. You will also notice that Twin 2 is doing most of the work while Twin 1 is doing the filming. Now day two started with a shopping trip for them and they came back with quite a few things I must say. And twin two gets to work. After removing the TV, he removed the existing unneeded roll plugs. A trick that he shares here is to actually put the screw back in and then using the back of a hammer, it yanks out very easily. Then trying to, it's easier than trying to pull the roll plug out with pliers. So once he got everything out, he puttied the whole shirt. Next, he drilled holes to fix the remote control for the fan and the air conditioning. And then he removed the remote holders as well. And he also removed the old switches and replaced them with new ones. Mm -hmm. 
These are the Vivasi switches by Schneider. And I got to admit, they feel pretty nice and solid when you touch them. Uh, the reason he did all this before painting, even though it meant he would need to remove some of the things and also tape the switches, is to ensure that there were no unpainted borders around them if he followed the old fittings or did not remove the fittings. The footage is rather dark here because he has turned off the mains and it is late evening. Twin 2 has also removed the old wall lighting and he is puttying the old holes and drilling new ones for the new lighting. He is basically drilling all the holes in the stuff before he starts painting. Drilling before painting will leave the paint looking much cleaner. After a late lunch, they started taping the sides of the wall and prepped to add a fresh coat of paint. It's a beautiful taupe colour and I will leave you the name in the description box. And now for the best part, peeling off the tape. He has painted the wall beautifully and the colour is just perfect too.
Putting back the bracket and the TV and also the remote holders was simple enough. One request, if anyone knows how I can whiten this discolored remote control, please let me know in the comments below. Okay, he has to switch off the mains again to fix the wall light now. They have chosen this industrial finish light in black. It's a vertical light, but he has decided to fix it horizontally to complement the TV. The guys had removed the blinds with Julie helped them to clean the window and the blinds and that is going back on now. So the last thing he did was to fix the clock above Twin One's desk. And then came the rest of the organizing. Technically, at this point, he handed over the cleaning to Julie and Nati. They cleaned and dusted from top to bottom, including under the beds and cabinets, of course. The wardrobe, his desk, well, one of his desks, and his bed are all here. And my bub's keyboard is stored above the wardrobe so that it's out of the way when not in use. And on the left side is twin two. There is a walk in closet on this side behind this sliding door, and there is also an ensuite bathroom in there. The upper section of the walk in closet has the guys' books, files, and notes, and whatever else they need to store while the lower section has mostly got Twin 2's clothes. And this little part here is where I had kept some of the clothes which they don't seem to wear, which I will donate if not touched in the next few months. These are basically Twin 2's formal party and courthouse wear. They have placed just one bedside table between their beds, which only has one night light. You would have seen this light in Twin 1's bedroom makeover video in our apartment. If you haven't seen that video, I will leave you the link in the description box. Now in that video, you will also see how we did a DIY headboard. Twin 2 has his bed and PlayStation on his side. He still loves his PlayStation, which he claims is a great de-stressor after a long day. You will notice that the walls are quite bare for the want of some artwork, but until they find something they agree on, this is it. So my loves, this is the mini makeover that my twins did of their bedroom and I'm absolutely in love with it. 
and I hope you'll be able to get some ideas for your son's room as well. So until the next video, this is Ravina saying, Happy Homemaking!